Hi, Todd Ward here in the Forecast Center with an update on what we can expect weather-wise across the Oracle of Texas as we go through the next week to 10 days. And uh, we do have some developments in the, in the Gulf of Mexico that we're going to have to watch probably middle of the week, but right now we're under the influence of a large upper level low over southeastern Canada. Uh, we have seen this trough bring in some very dry air across the Oracle of Texas this weekend. Just a gorgeous weekend, which will continue into tomorrow. And then things will start to go downhill, as I mentioned, during the middle of the week. National Hurricane Center now issuing advisories on potential tropical cyclone six, which uh, is expected to eventually become Hurricane Francine as it moves across the western Gulf of Mexico and eventually looking at landfall as we move into the middle of the week uh, over the southwest coast of Louisiana. Here is a look at the uh, first forecast on this system from the National Hurricane Center. You can see the strengthening as the storm is expected to become Francine sometime as we look ahead to Wednesday afternoon. Landfall very close to Sabine Pass at this point. But keep in mind this uh, white area here, that's the average error in these uh, tropical forecasts from the Hurricane Center. So even though as of right now, it looks like the path will be to the east and southeast of the Oracle Tex, uh, it's something we'll have to watch very, very closely. If it does move in this particular pass, uh, path, I should say, that would bode well for our area. You might recall, Barrel moved across northeast Texas and we had that big tornado outbreak. The biggest tornado risk is always to the right of the path of these tropical systems once they move inland. So this is something we'll be watching very closely as we move closer to the landfall of eventually Francine. Meantime, Robin's story to Futurecast shows a clear sky across the area tonight is tonight with less wind likely will be the coolest night that we'll see. Lows will be well into the 50s. I wouldn't be shocked to hear about a few 40s tonight over the northern sections of the area. Tomorrow will start to warm up as we'll continue to see plenty of sunshine. Expect a mostly clear sky for most of tomorrow night. Might see a few clouds begin to sneak in late tomorrow night and Tuesday. We'll see a mix of clouds and sunshine. I think any rain Tuesday likely will stay to the south of the Oracle Texas, though a slight chance for some rain down towards Manny and Natchitoches will be possible. And we will see that rain threat eventually begin to increase. Longer range version of Futurecast shows that Tuesday night we could see a bit of an increase in the scattered showers over the southern half of the area. A chance for the scattered shower or thunderstorm will continue into Wednesday. Again, by Wednesday afternoon, landfall will likely have already occurred. And then we'll see the rain increase as we go through Wednesday evening, Wednesday night, over especially the southeastern half of the Oracle Tex, and that rain will gradually decrease during the day on Thursday. Given the expected current path that the system is expected to take, here's the outlook from the Weather Prediction Center, and you can see the heaviest rains occurring to the south and east of the Oracle Tex. We're talking uh, anywhere from three to six inches in these areas, southern Louisiana, much of Mississippi. Notice how quickly the amounts drop from two inches to a half an inch, basically from Natchitoches to Shreveport. If that track does get shifted more towards the northwest, we will see more rain. If it gets shifted further to the east, we will likely see a little bit less rain across the area. Blend of all the different models shows uh, barely any rain over the northwestern sections of the Oracle Tex, about a quarter to a half an inch along I-20. And as of right now, it looks like a couple of inches down towards Manny and Natchitoches. And once the system moves through, we're going to kind of settle back into hot and dry with temperatures to close next week, warming back up into the 90s. So here are the details in your forecast for tonight. Just a gorgeous night for sleeping, as they often say, as we'll see a clear sky. 58 degrees in Shreveport, 52 tonight in Texarkana, 50 in Hope, 52 degrees for the nighttime low tonight in Dequeen. Tomorrow looking at uh, a pretty nice warm up as we'll see lots of sunshine. We stay warm, 87 degrees in Shreveport. That's five degrees below normal, 84 degrees for the high temperature in Texarkana. And again, the long range outlook does appear as if we will see temperatures across the Oracle Tex that will heat back up into the 90s for highs. Lows will settle into the 70s as we go through the end of this week and this weekend.